because the gastrointestinal stuff is uh, a lot of guys are struggling with it. And I, yeah, I'd like to include that in this. If okay. that would be possible. Then, then let's okay. do it. Okay. So let's, now let's the gastrointestinal do. stuff, it falls into uh, a couple of different categories. But uh, for example, there's the acid reflux, there's the uh, loose stool, and then there's the guys that have the severe constipation. Um, what we're finding a lot of this stuff is uh, caused by is the actual damage to the brainstem uh, and not just, uh, but more specifically to uh, the nerve clusters that lie just below the surface of the brainstem. The one in particular is the dorsal nucleus of the vagus, which can, carries the signals to the large and small intestine in the stomach, uh, the esophagus, lungs, the heart. And uh, what we're finding is with the guys that have been poisoned, the gastrointestinal stuff the, the large bulk of the individuals have the loose stool and what that's caused by is the uh, the digestive system is over secreting and when it's over secreting it's cleaning all the flora and fauna out and so what's happening is they're, they're going to the washroom like three four five six seven eight times a day they're going to the washroom with a half within a half hour of eating now there's an actual syndrome so that's that this falls under and it's called wet gut and what's happening is it's cleaning all the flora and fauna out so if an individual's to go to a super or, or a drug store or a health food store pardon me not a drug store but a health food store and ask for some super high strength probiotics they can uh, get their guts working again because these super high strength probiotics will replace what the guts are flushing out. And the thing is, the guts, what we're finding are the cornerstone of beating mefloquine poison. If you can get your guts working again and you're digesting the food, because what's happening right now is when you eat food, the residence time of that food in your digestive system is not long enough for your body to extract all the nutrients and chemicals and resources your body needs to keep your brain supplied. For example, one of the big issues like me, I suffered from depression, you know, and severe depression. Well, where is serotonin produced? Your serotonin is produced in your guts. Yeah. It's transported. It adheres to your platelets and it's transported through your bloodstream and it's deposited in when it passes through your brain, yeah. okay? But, and if you're not digesting your food, you're not getting that serotonin. So, so the, 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 the cornerstone of this is getting your guts working. So okay. the, one of the, the, the key things that I do and have been doing for a number of years now is uh, the good old fashioned bone soup. Where you take uh, yep. bones and you you know let them simmer on the stove for a, a good 12 to 18 hours. Um, I put uh, apple cider vinegar in with that, so it helps to yep. break it down faster. Um, usually, just a, a small touch of honey and garlic uh, and salt, and pepper gives it a little bit of flavor and a nice darker color. Um, makes it more um, appetizing uh, and. So the other thing that you can do on a regular basis, balsamic vinegar and vinaigrettes also aids in your digestion. Um, at this point, um, right now, myself, I, I have to go a minimum of 36 hours fasting in order to keep the inflammation in my, on, in my body under control. So after supper on Sunday till breakfast on Tuesday, I am drinking nothing more than bone soup, right? And wow. Yeah, and yeah. That, that so far ha is working. And then on top of that, um, starches and sugars are completely off my plate. Um, yeah. I get uh, rye toast on Sundays, um, and, and that's like a treat, <laughs> you know, uh, because I know I'm going to be fasting on, uh, you know, that, that evening and, and into uh, for, th for another 36 hours after that. So um, yeah. if, if you do have a starch, always first thing in the morning, uh, probiotics are huge. Other something else interesting enough that that uh, is gelatin, and I don't mean Jello. 
I'm talking gelatin. Yep. Gelatin can actually um, give you as much a source of pro probiotics as um, some of the high price pro pro probiotics can. So there's some, a few things there that can, can, can go. But yeah, the flushing out your intestine um, and getting some healthy uh, probiotic or cultures and stuff into it and uh, it, it will go a huge, huge, huge long way in in helping to settle down the inflammation, which to me is what's causing a, a lot of the problems, at least in my body, is everything's so inflamed. Yep. You know, how, how do you how do, how do you function if, if your body's on fire? Yep. And uh, I was talking to a specialist down in the States, and I like the American healthcare system is you don't you you can actually talk to a specialist on the phone. <laughs> it's kind of nice. unlike our healthcare system, where the only person you can talk to is a damn receptionist. Yeah. But I was talking to a, a specialist down there, and one of the things he related to me is uh, tinnitus. One of the causes of tinnitus is uh, uh, neural inflammation. Yes. So, and and I can relate to that is every once in a while. Uh, and this is usually associated with me having extreme difficulty managing my moods and that is my ears will just be oh, screaming. The volume of yeah. the tinnitus will be right through the roof. Yeah. And when that happens, I, I know, okay. So you know, uh, when that happens to be it, like, it'll go for 30 seconds to a couple minutes and then it's, it's gone. Yeah. Right. Do, do you, no, my, you my, my, mine's usually up uh, last for a couple hours. Wow. Yeah. That would yeah. drive me nuts. It's just, I don't know, like, for, for me, it's like, uh, I go back to the beginning, I guess, of this conversation is, you know, like, um, having these conversations with you and, and other guys, it's like, you just don't, I never realized how many of these non-post-traumatic stress things going on in my body, you know, all comes back to this, this methylquin. And when I, when I went back and I read my file there from the military, Boy, I, I just like wow. There it is, clear as day. You know, just clear yep. as day. But nobody knew yep. because. Yep, I actually cried when I read Doctor Nevin's report. It was just like, oh my god. It that I knew there was a connection, but when you see it in black and white and laid out and properly mapped out, okay, here's his health prior to, here's his yeah. health during, and here's his health since, and you know, and he and he connects the dot, you know, conduct issue, this issue, this health issue, that health issue, and it lays it all out, and it's just in black and white, and you're reading it, and it's like, oh, my God, <laughs> you know, my entire life. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks again, Dave. Like, this has been uh, yeah. phenomenal.